Hi, my name is Avery and I am a student at Rice University majoring in physics. Today, I will discuss what are puffs and why they are useful. Let's get started. A puff is a physical unclonable function and it makes use of the variations that were introduced during the manufacturing process of devices. As an example, I have brought with me two iPhones. These iPhones are the same make and model. They behave similarly. However, if I were to perform electrical measurements on the integrated circuit of each iPhone, I would see differences in values measured. These would be minor differences. The differences that I would observe on those iPhones would be on the micro scale. And these differences came from the manufacturing process, how there are variations that are introduced during that process. Thus, puffs are unclonable on the micro scale. Also, puffs make use of something called challenge response pairs. A challenge is something that a server sends to a device to authenticate the device. And the response is something that a device sends, an answer that a device sends, in order to be authenticated. Based upon these differences, these minor differences in electric measurements, these challenge response pairs are unique to each device. There are two main categories of puffs. There is strong puff and there are weak puffs. A strong puff can take in many challenges, while a weak puff can usually take in only one challenge. Now, I will move on to discussing why puffs are useful. Puffs are useful because they provide low cost security. Puffs are low cost in terms of power and money. Puffs provide a way for keys to be stored and for devices to be authenticated. Currently, electronic devices use something called non-volatile memory to store keys. Non-volatile memory is simply a memory system that remembers the information that it carries even when it is turned off. However, non-volatile memories are more susceptible to invasive attacks because the key it has is stored digitally. Thus, an attacker could invasively get into a device, find the non-volatile memory, and if he knew where the key was stored, he could encrypt the non-volatile memory and get the key. However, with puffs, keys are stored physically. Thus, if an invasive attack was to happen, the key that it contains physically would change. So the device would more likely fail to be authenticated. So these are reasons why puffs are useful for today. Thank you.